Two people are dead after a small plane crashed on Interstate 75 near the Florida city of Naples and collided with a vehicle, authorities said. Five people were on board the private jet when it crashed near a highway exit in Florida's Collier County, creating a fiery debris field that caused officials to close Interstate 75, according to the Florida Highway Patrol, the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles and Collier County Sheriff's Office confirmed that two people died in the collision, according to Naples air traffic controllers. The plane was owned by a charter company called Hopa Jet Worldwide Jet Charter. Officials said anyone can book a flight and pilots will fly you on a private plane to your destination. Naples area resident Ginny Johnson came upon the crash just minutes after it happened. All of a sudden I saw a lot of black smoke, Johnson said. It was pitch black. As I got closer, the smoke got a little lighter. And then I saw flames. A witness, Brianna Walker, was driving on I-75 when the plane flew in from behind her, clipped the top of a pickup truck in front of her, contacted the highway and skidded for about 30 feet before it slammed into a concrete wall and burst into flames, she told CNN, the truck, its roof taken off by the contact, went into a median and flipped over, she said. The pickup's driver walked out and looked okay, Walker said the IT seemed like the plane's pilot was trying to land on the highway, Walker said, it was unreal. Like a movie, she said.